Welcome to Surviving and Thriving, where we share with you the things that we have learned as we have transitioned our family from struggling to survive disease to thriving, right smack dab in the midst of it, in the hopes that something that we share with you will help you, enlighten you, and encourage you as you transition your family from struggling to survive disease to thriving, right smack dab in the midst of it. In this health walk, you guys, in this life journey that we have battling um, and overcoming sickness and disease, we experience a lot of things, you guys. We can experience times of great strength um, and energy, and we can experience times of great darkness and hardship and suffering. And sometimes we go through some things, and we have great battles that we have to um, endure. And here I am talking to you, right, about thriving right in the midst of all of that darkness and all of that pain. But I want you to know that it is doable, that you can do it. And I want to share with you some nuggets, some keys that I found that help you to go through some of those dark times and so some of those turbulent times and help you to be able to still have the best of times even in the midst of the worst of times. And one of the most important things that I found is that you gotta have a positive attitude. You have to have a good outlook. Even in the midst of pain, even in the midst of suffering, even when you're in some of your greatest struggles, you have to have a great outlook. You know, sometimes bad things can happen, tragedies can happen. Even in the world, tragedies happen and the news just report the doom and the gloom and the sorrow of it. But even in the midst of that, you guys, there's always light. There's always hope. There's always a lily, right? Right in the middle of those darkest times in the valley, right? Of our lives. And you have to make a conscious decision to focus in on that and to look for it. You have to look for it and focus in on it. And sometimes it may seem faint but if you focus in on it it gets brighter so when you're in in the darkest hours you know say for example you just you're going through a lot right but you can say you know what Whew, I still got my right mind I still can move I still find whatever your still is right and even when you come out sometimes we come out of some stuff you guys Ooh, you can feel real beat up, right? You can feel like I won, but I don't feel like I won. I look like I lost. I feel like I lost, but I got victory in the end because I'm still here. But it doesn't feel like victory, and you don't really feel like celebrating, right? Number one, always celebrate. That's important. But you got to look for the bright side of it. You overcame. You came out, right? You might came out beat up, but you came out. And sometimes you can say, you know what, I might be beat up, I might be this, but you know what, it didn't take me out, I won. I still got that thing that I was going for. And sometimes, you guys, we got to endure some things, and, and it seems like we lost. You know, sometimes it seems like I didn't get what I was going for. But even in there, there's a bright side where you can say, I didn't get that, right? But it ended up working for me in this way. It ended up helping me in this way. It's kind of hard because when we're going through, it can seem like we're losing. It seems like it's not worth it. Um, we're getting hit on every end. We're in a lot of pain. There's a lot of suffering. One thing is happening after the other, and it seems like we're losing on all ends. But even in those midst, you guys, even in that, I'm talking to you from experience, you guys. I'm telling you the things that I had to do to hold on and to help me to have a good time or even have a good life, even in the midst of what I was going through. Um, I would have to look, right, and find that thing which worked for me. Even if it didn't feel like it was working for me. And sometimes, just knowing that it could have been worse is what you got to hold on to. But when you're going through, and all these things are coming at you in life, right, you got to keep a positive outlook, a positive mentality about everything that's going on for you. And if you can't find something, one thing that always helps us to say that I know it's working for me. I may not be able to see how it's working for me now, but I know it's working for me. 
you know, going through all the things that we've gone through, for me, what I have found is that you get a greater appreciation. When your life is in the balances and when you're fighting for life, you get a greater appreciation of life, the things you have going for you, and the people that you have in your life. So, um, my marriage, we loved hard. We always loved each other very hard. But we fought hard, too, in the early early years because you're trying to learn how to become one to go from two to be one and and you got your power struggles and you're trying to figure out your roles right um, and so we had we had, we experienced all of that but we loved each other very hard in the midst of all of that so when I first started going through um, health issues at a severe level it helped my marriage and you can say that you know how did it help your marriage well I understand that for some people it doesn't help their marriage for some people they allow it to tell tear them apart instead of fighting to pull together but in my family and my marriage we fought to pull together and you guys I learned how to forgive and it brought my husband and I closer we were able to get over some of those um, fo the foolishness that you have in your early years of marriage right some of the struggles and the power trips and the selfishness, we were able to overcome those things and to pull together and it made my marriage richer. It made my relationships with other people greater because I didn't have time, energy and emotion and strength for nonsense. And when you can weed out all that nonsense, you guys, you get to see the beauty of life. You know, a lot of people get frustrated being stuck in traffic, right? Oh, this gets on my nerves, right? Oh, this traffic, I got to get somewhere and, da -da 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 -da, and the smoke and the smog and all that kind of stuff, right? But when you're facing life issues, or at least for me, when it was a fight for my life and for my health, you guys, I didn't complain about those long trips in the car. All of a sudden, I had a greater appreciation for feeling the sun the warmth of it on my skin. I had a greater appreciation for a nice cool breeze, right? I had a greater appreciation and I could hear the birds more clearly than I ever could hear the birds. And to smell the roses literally, right, has such a sweeter and greater smell than ever before. And just to have that time to communicate with my family in the car, those became even more richer moments in my life. So when you're going through stuff, you all, you have to make a choice to allow your life to be richer for you, to allow um, a greater appreciation and the thanksgiving and just to allow yourself to feel the joy. It is a choice because you can choose to focus in on the oppression, the depression, the doom and the gloom and the weightiness of it all, or you can choose to focus in on the blessings over the things that you used to take for granted. You can choose to enjoy it and to embrace it all that much more. Remember in all things, do you? Because your life and your family is different than mine and everybody else's, your dynamics is different. So do what's best for you. In all things, remember that. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye.